Well, new at 10, who knew this? Meteorite hunting is all the rage up in Prescott. The American Meteor Society says that they got 31 reports of a fireball that was seen over Arizona, California, New Mexico, and even Utah. And our 12 News viewers catching the light show from all vantage points last night and this morning. Team Charles Rachel Cole joins us now in Studio 12A with more on why meteorite hunting has become such a popular hobby. Rachel? Yeah, guys, pretty cool. Meteorites and money. It's not just their shiny surface that makes meteorites appealing either. It's how valuable they can be, especially for those looking to add to their collection. Every time a meteorite hits, there's meteorite hunters from all over the world that show up and spend lots of money and lots of time. Amateur cosmochemist Michael Pineda piquing our interest with a piece from his own collection. It got a shape as it flew through the atmosphere, and those flow lines are one of the things you would see on an oriented stony iron meteorite. And those lines are actually um, a nickel alloy. He knows the different types we can find once a meteor hits the ground. There's a stony iron meteorite, the rarest one, and then there's an iron meteorite, and that's uh, famous for the Campo de Cielo or uh, locally the uh, Canyon Diablo meteorite, so that's solid, just about solid iron. And the last one is the stony meteorite, and that is made, um, made mostly of stone, and it has tiny uh, inclusions of metal, and that's how we know it came from space. For seven years, Michael's been studying several hundred pieces and says determining their worth is almost as thrilling as spotting one. Robert Verish, he found the Mars meteorite, and they call it Los Angeles. He sold it for $3.2 million, and uh, it wasn't very big. It was $10,000 a gram. And you can compare it to gold, which is about $45 a gram, maybe a little bit more now. But before they hit the ground, they soar across the sky, catching all kinds of attention. It's a big deal. I was actually shining this in Las Vegas the day that it happened, and guys were leaving Las Vegas to come out here. So. And even though Michael is from California, he's got a favorite from this display at ASU's Center for Meteorite Studies. Uh, the one from Glendale, Arizona that fell in 2018 the one I was showing you earlier. And one of the reasons it's my favorite is because I'm here looking for the one that fell recently and uh, doing some comparison on what I need to see. I'm an expert in stony iron, but not in chondrites, so I need to look at what I gotta go after. Chondrites, <laughs> by the way, I had to look that up online quite a few times to get this. I'm a chondrite right. guy. You're a chondrite <laughs> guy. Yeah, right, there's three to choose from, but. It's um, really cool to just think that, I mean, if you at first glance, you're like, oh, it's a rock or something, but to think, for where it came from is pretty amazing. Unbelievable, and he says that's why people love them. They're more rare than dinosaur bones, okay? Yeah. More rare than gold, diamonds, emeralds. You were asking about the cost. Yeah, Anywhere how much? 15 bucks on eBay to what he said there, $10,000 per gram, specifically for the Los Angeles meteor that was found by Robert Ver Verish. Mm. So very cool, well, Verish. Know what I'm doing tonight. <laughs> Get out your headlamp. <laughs> Thanks, Rachel. <laughs>